We're gonna open this up. I think the broccoli actually is getting done quicker. Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing and a review on the Chefman Air Fryer Plus Rotisserie. So I've just taken everything out of the box. Here's, you got the rotisserie parts. We're gonna open this up. Now this is just a label. We wanna make sure and get this off. There's also a label up here. Make sure we peel that off. We're gonna open the door. Now there's some stuff in here. We gotta make sure and get out this cardboard and all these parts. Okay, so we get three of these like wire mesh screens. These are trays. Now these will only go one way. If you put them in that way, they don't fit. But there are different levels here. And we got this tray. This is like a tray. You can put this in the bottom also. And then here's where the rotisserie arm goes. Now you're simply gonna slide these arms on here. These are little screws. Undo the screws. Now there's these little detents. That's what you're gonna try to line the screw up with. That's gonna have the most staying power, but you can adjust these anywhere you need to. So with them at those detent, looks like it's about seven inches, but we could go all the way up to about eight inches. And you're simply gonna put it, there's a gear over here that fits in and then it rests there. And now the unit will turn that as a rotisserie. And we do have the, we can go in and get the chicken with this lifted up and that's our holder. So here's what it looks like inside. So it looks like we have a screen on the top. Now we can take that screen out, but this is like the splatter screen. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. So it is 1,700 watts. And again, here's the heating element. Up above there's a fan and there is a light right there. Now again, this is different than these trays. This is a screen. It's got like a little handle here. You're gonna put that like here so that you can grab that later on. The cord is three feet long and it's two prong. Okay, with the tray all the way in the bottom, looks like you have about six and a half inches to the top. I got some different uh, tracks I could put them in, but this is a pretty common one. About three, two and three quarters with that. About two and three quarters. This one's pretty thin up here, about an inch. And again, left to right, you're looking at about nine inches. And the door, you do have to kind of press it in and out. There's like a snap for it to close. Okay, I got it plugged in. Here's a display. We got a start stop button right here. Now the stop button's here. We've got bake, air fry, dehydrate. I like that we got, let's go to air fry. We got some quick settings. Like there's an air, uh, french fries, chicken, fish, meat. I can turn the light on and off. And again, there's the light down in there. Okay, so then if I wanted to change the temperature, so press this button, that's gonna cycle between temperature and time. So I can change the time, go to temperature. I can change the temperature. So I'll go. It's, so once you go up to 400, it cycles back down to 200. And these are just quick presets that I like. Again, get it where you want, hit the start button. Okay, so I do have the, the bottom trays installed plus this this um, wire mesh tray. That's what I'm gonna put the french fries on. Now you do wanna make sure these are kinda leveled out. You don't want them a whole bunch stacked on each other. Okay, so since the broccoli doesn't take as long, we're gonna wait a little bit, but we're gonna put, I could put more chicken nuggets here, but that's all I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna put the french fries in. And just slide that in and now slide this in. Now we can close this. And again, we do have a light that we can turn on and see how it's doing. Okay, so I'm simply gonna go to air fry. Let's just go to fries, 400, start. 18 minutes, I'll keep an eye on it and then we'll add our broccoli. Okay, so the fan does start off kind of in a low mode, but then it does ramp up to high once in a while. Well, let's turn the light on. Here's how everything is cooking. Yeah, everything's doing good. I got the broccoli covered with some um, oil. It's just very lightly covered. And then we'll put it on the top. Okay, so we got about nine minutes left. Let's open it up. And I can pull these trays out. I can flip this stuff if I need to. Pull this out, turn the fries. They're getting done pretty good. Maybe just give them a quick turn. Push it back in and it starts automatically. 
Okay, okay seven, seven minutes. minutes left. Let's add the broccoli. So let's pull this out. That way it kind of catches the crumbs. All right, we can add the broccoli. Put it back in. Kind of level it out. Chicken nuggets back in, put this back in, close it, and it just picks up where it left off. Okay, so we got less than a minute to go. We're gonna open this up. I think the broccoli actually is getting done quicker. Yeah, I could leave it in there maybe a little bit. Everything seems to be getting done pretty good. Here's the fries. You know, if I wanted them a little crispier, I could leave them in there a little bit longer, but doing pretty good. I think chicken nuggets are about done. Okay, so it says the word in, it beeps at us to let us know it's done. Let's open it up. Yeah, everything looks really good. All right, let's get the broccoli off first. Then we'll get the chicken nuggets. And now we'll get the fries. All right, let's get the fries off. A little bit heavier so I'm just gonna grab all the fries and get them off. Now these trays are dishwasher safe so I'll put those in the dishwasher let them cool off first. Okay so we have to try the food let's try the broccoli first. Yeah broccoli's pretty good. Chicken nuggets. Oh yeah they're good. All right, let's see the fries. Yeah, they look really good too. Oh yeah. So I thought it did a really good job cooking three individual things. You gotta kinda time it just right. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.